in a yacht. That's what we call it. We alcoholics. Do you know what I have to do to autofocus this thing? Take a broomstick, man. T3i problems. Bonjour, everybody. Now, where I'm from, it's Kinta Sony. I know it's been a minute, but thank you to everybody who commented, subscribed, and just gave mad love to my video. Today is gonna be a hair video. Of course, it's gonna be on this blue hair that I did. I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. When you're doing extensions or you're making a U part, it's never gonna be perfect the first time. From my experiences, I always have to like nitpick it and go back in, maybe reapply, bring the color down a little bit. So this is still looking a little bit too, it's too much blue. I need to bring down the darkness a little bit. So just go on, pop it on a wig head, and do your thing. Don't get frustrated with these things. It's always a work in progress because it's your own creative expression. Okay, that's some real shit. It's it's your expression. Always, always like working on it. I still take hours to get ready. My friends be whipping my ass because I still take hours to get ready. Except for Ravina. Ravina takes way longer than me. You know you have that friend that's like always late. You have to tell them like two hours before an event so they'll be ready for the event on time. I used to be that friend. Now Princess is that friend. Princess Ravina. Putting that bitch on blast. I'm gonna be using professional colors just because I have that, but I'm gonna show you how to achieve this color with like Sally Beauty color stuff. Really, really applicable to anybody. So this is the hair color after about a month, and I don't really wash this hair too often because you don't wanna wash your extensions or wigs because you don't have the natural oils coming from your head to moisturize. So when you wash it like you would normally wash your hair, you mean drying that hair out. When I did this tutorial, I was not expecting it to like go so freaking blue. It still looks dope, like I love it. I'm liking how it faded out. Oh my god, this, your hair, like who did your hair? And I was like, yeah, it was a mistake. But people like it, so it's all good. I think a lot of people are really quick to judge when people want to do do-it-yourself hair. As long as you're following the steps and stuff like that, you're gonna be doing this on extensions. Super, way easier to do that. If you fuck up extensions, go buy some more. That's all you gotta do. Some of the greatest hairdressers and makeup artists, they were self-taught. Just like I've been, except I've gone a little bit extreme, like doing my own piercings and stuff. No, you guys don't want to fuck with that. Piercings and tattoos, don't do that. Just a couple things about this company and the specs of the hair. This is New Star Hair and I think they are very popular right now just because the, they're well known for their customer service, the quality of the hair and their shipping. I mean, I've had an excellent, superb experience with them within the last three years. If I've ever had any complaints or concerns about the hair, I just messaged them and they really dealt with it very professionally. Why do I love this hair and why do I recommend it? This hair has been only amazing experience each time. I always bleach and color my hair because it's just what I do. I love doing crazy different colors. I can trust in this hair that it's gonna lift or the color is gonna take. The shipping is amazing. It usually takes within three to five business days. Get it usually within three and if I tell them, hey, I need this shit now, I need my weave now, they send it out. They're good, they're very good like that. The quality of this hair is really good. The curl always bounces back. It's a body wave, so it naturally has a bit of a curl to it, which I love. It's gorgeous. One of the reasons why I will never go back to trying out other companies is because I've had a bad experience on AliExpress before. I've bought hair before, and I thought it was 100% human hair virgin. Bitch, where? That shit had synthetic strands in it and they sold it for top dollar to me. My hair melted off when I tried to color it and bleach it. It was just a fucking disaster. Never had a problem with coloring it or bleaching it before. I will never change companies as long as I'm buying from AliExpress and as long as their quality stays the same. Like you probably have bought from them and you know the quality of this hair is impeccable. Need I say more? I don't think so. This hair is a total of four bundles. 14, 16, and two 18s. 
I'm a very short girl, so this looks super long. I'm like 5'2", 5'1". Every time I look at myself, it seems like I'm getting shorter. But it looks super long on me. It's very heavy. And I have a small head, so I didn't even use all the bundles. But I got four just in case. It cost me around $200 Canadian. Incredible because this hair lasts a very long time. Over six months um, if you take care of it. You know, I'm always like bleaching the shit out of it. Bleaching it times five over processing it chemical cut every like month it's my first time using all blonde hair level 10 hair which is the brightest you can get and i feel like it's so much easier because i just have to put in a root color the root color is this darkness here fading into the blue i'm gonna show you how i did everything so make sure you guys comment like subscribe follow me on all my social media and let's get started choose not to use professional colors you can use the ion color brilliant semi-permanent color in shark blue and to add a little bit more of a purpley violet color you can mix it with the lavender color as well also to make the product a little less thick you can add any sort of white conditioner just to make the consistency a little bit smoother so this is all you would need to use on the blonde hair So what I'm doing here is I'm laying the hair out so I can see what the hair looks like stretched out. Um, I'm doing a strand test to see how my formulation came out. Once you do the strand test, let it sit for at least 5 to 10 minutes so you can see what that true color is. I like the color that came out. So what I'm doing now is dampening the hair so that the product is evenly distributed. It helps when the hair is a little bit damp or wet. Um, you can do that with demi permanent or permanent colors. It's okay to put that on damp hair. When you are using the semi permanent colors, the color has to be put on dry hair. Some bits took a little bit more blue and a little bit darker and some took a little bit more of a purpley violet color which I like because when you put it all together in your weave or wig it creates a really nice dimension of purple and blue tones. Really sorry guys but the footage of me showing how to do the root color deleted you can refer back to my how to ombre extensions you use the same technique of smudging down that color but you're not using bleach you're using color instead so you just put on the root at the very very top however low you want to go and smudge down okay you guys i want to know what you guys think about this color and if you like hair videos like this if you want me to show you how to do other colors if you're into this i want to see how your guys's hair turned out so make sure you hashtag so i can see and i can comment and like if you guys like the blue 
leave a comment in the comment section. Follow me on my social media and repost this video. Yeah, let me know guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for tuning in.